Today is Wednesday, September the 17th, 2014. My name is Michael Wright, and this is the Daily Elliott Way video. Just before going forward, please do pause the recording and read over our risk disclaimer. Okay, let's jump into the markets. Um, currently, we are in two open positions. That is the Euro dollar long and the dollar Swiss short. The dollar Swiss we just uh, recently uh, took. And let's take a look at uh, that setup. Okay, now for the uh, dollar Swiss, what we're looking at is a um, hold below the resistance of the trend line. As of late, if you look at the daily setup, it has rejected the 261.8% Fibonacci extension. Okay, um, and we're looking at it as a C wave to the top side. In the midst of it, we have a five wave um, rise, followed by a three wave setback to mark a bigger uh, move here in terms of uh, fourth wave as a uh, consolidated triangle developed in a breakout to the top side. And um, as of late, looking for this area to hold, as also there is um, clear momentum divergence. All right, um, and you can see that here. This is, this is the same setup. Uh, here's the divergence I am referring to. And as long as we hold below 93.50, I don't rule out further uh, declines. Meanwhile, Euro dollar, uh, we continue to have a bullish view on this pair as well. Um, looking for that 132 marker, all right. Uh, very similar to the dollar Swiss in that the euro dollar is the inverse of dollar Swiss. So still looking for some uh, moves higher uh, going forward, and 132 area is of uh, main focus. But not to overlook, we still have a gap um, from. August the 22nd that in my opinion needs to get filled so keep an eye on that if we do decide to get some uh, bullish gains um, but again similar to the dollar Swiss we are looking for uh, dollar drops um, a decline in the dollar but it's really only below that 129.36 area for the euro dollar that we would get bearish if we take a look at the dollar index okay what we see is again similar right um your dollar dollar index uh, go hand in hand so movements and looking for reversal on the four hour time frame if we open up that time frame for the uh dollar index uh you'll see that we were very overbought um could kind of almost call this a double top trend line from the highs we did break out, so I wouldn't rule out a back test before further rises if you're looking at it from that angle. Um, but then if you also draw from that prior area, we'll see that we actually held. Um, we're actually holding that top side. So watch out for both angles here. Um, again, I uh, remain a uh, dollar bear in the medium term but my bias will quickly shift if we do have a technical breakout on the daily in the US dollar index. Uh, taking a look at Japanese yen futures, okay, uh, Japanese yen futures continuous uh, downside push. Not a fan of this particular daily setup, but looking at uh, pairs like the euro yen, pound yen, uh, first looking at the euro yen, we are actually at some uh, key levels here. Let's open up the time frame to the daily for the Euro Yen. You see, so uh, what we can see is that we are very, we are very close to resistance. Um, I don't really want to take a short on the euro yen because I'm long euro dollar. Um, if it pushes higher though to 139, uh, 140, okay, then I that's a better setup, and uh, from my opinion, uh, looking at those shorts. 
okay so that 140 area and then I'll look for uh, the sell-off there on the euro yen but for now we'll stay pat but definitely do like um, that setup with the count as long as so as long as the 143.90 area the preferred count uh, for the euro yen will lie for a to b looking for at least a c wave move lower whether this is a b one to a deal because both point to further losses into 134.30 so long as we hold below 139.60 but more importantly 144 uh 143.70 indeed a range but uh um two ways to see uh that euro yen in terms of that daily viewpoint its counterpart the pound yen similar so a double top as of now we still had that breakout um I believe I attempted this short in the past. Right now, I'm going to the state pat and just see how the market develops. I believe we have FOMC coming up um, in the near term. So I'm going to stay pat, but uh, those who are watching the Pelion, uh, uh, we do have a possible double top. Watch for the daily close. The daily close is going to be very important in terms of if we break above or stay around this level, but more importantly, break above the um, double top for further gains. But um, watch that daily close. If we close below 174.70, I prefer looking at shorts on the pound yen, which would then give light to the euro yen. Also looking for shorts, and then in turn will give light to Japanese yen futures for the top side. All right, um, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, we'll do an Ichimoku video tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Um, that'll be a private video only for the members, so members, you could just sign into the members area and view it in the video section. All right, guys, thank you all for watching today's video, and good luck trading. Cheers.